Let me give you an example. In New Jersey and many states, towns don't have the liberty to go out and borrow anything that they want. Why? If you were to go out, if you were the homeowner in that town, and your town went out and borrowed money like crazy to do all these things, who's going to end up paying for that? You, as the taxpayer. So what has done, what has happened is in many states, they limit the town on what they can borrow. It could be 1%, it could be 5%, whatever that number is. But 1% of what? 1% of the total value of property in that town. So if you had $100 million worth of property and it was 1%, you could only borrow a million. You borrowed half a million. That's what, by the way, that one million is called debt limit. What's your limit? One million dollars. You borrowed half a million. What's left? Another half a million. That's your debt margin, what you have left, right? These are the terms that we are going to be talking about. Overlapping debt. Overlapping debt is interesting because um, you know, in New Jersey, we have towns, we have counties, and then we have state. When the county of Essex or county of Morris goes out and borrows money, who pays for that? The taxpayers in each of the towns which are within the county. So not only do you have to worry about your town, you have to worry about what? Also your county. That county level is called the overlapping debt. That is obligations of other governments that also have the power to tax property located in the jurisdiction. But you say, wait a minute. The county doesn't tax my property. It's the town. No. If you look at your property tax bill, it's like three pieces of a pie. One piece of the pie is for the town. The other piece is for the schools. And the third piece is for the county. And you'll be surprised. The amount for the town is very small. Most of it is taken up by county and schools. And I shouldn't say county because some counties are less. But some counties are very high tax rates. And that's what this concept of overlapping debt is. So these are the definitions. Um, well, I just talked to you about the overlapping debt can be assessed, um, the three different pieces. But these are some of the definitions that I want you to uh, keep in mind. So what is debt margin? Debt margin is, is your borrowing power, right? What you have left. And debt limit is the maximum that you can borrow, right? I think in New Jersey, the debt limit is 3.5% for towns and 2% for counties. See, one of the good things I think, at least that's the way I look at it, is from this course, you can take some things away if you ever decide to purchase things or look at what's around, because these are very important factors. You know, people look at homes and they say, wow, this home's really cheap here. Well, there's a reason why. And now you know the factors that go into it. Tax rates, schools, you know, other quality of life issues that we understand. These are, so buying a home isn't just looking at the purchase price, it's looking at all these factors, looking at trends. And fortunately, all of this information is available on the web for you to really get to. Okay, um, so these are some of the debt measures. These are like ratios, debt per capita. Tell me, a high debt per capita, is it good or bad as a taxpayer? Bad. Ratio of debt to estimated true value of taxable, a high ratio is good or bad? It's bad too because you've got more debt than 
you know, compared to your taxable property. So these are some of the measures that we use, and we'll really study this in Chapter 10. Actually, um, just to give you an illustration, um, on page There's a question at the end, and I want you to just uh, see if you can figure this out, just to make sure that we look at this question, 6-5. See if you can calculate the debt limit and debt margin. So what's the property value? 10 billion. What is the percentage? 1%. So what's the debt limit? Anyone volunteer for the debt limit number? So the property is 10 billion, 1% of 10 three five eleven. What is that equal to? $108 million. That's the debt limit. The second part is a little bit more challenging. What is the debt margin? Margin is what's left after you've issued the debt. Well, what do we have? We have approved but unissued tax-supported debt. It's not been issued yet, so that doesn't count. Revenue bonds, what does revenue mean? Revenue bonds, do, do towns issue revenue bonds or do business-type activities issue revenue bonds? They're not in this calculation. Business type activities are not in this calculation. General obligation serial bonds. Whenever you see the word general obligation, that's real debt. That's town debt. 43 million. That's included. Capital leases outstanding. Remember I told you, I think some time ago, towns use capital leases to skirt around debt limitation. So that's not counted either. So in this calculation of the 108 million, how much have you used? 43 million, which leaves you with a debt margin of 65 million. I've given you a similar problem as a homework exercise. See how we did this? We calculated the number, and then we looked at each item. If it was not issued, it's not issued yet. So it's still available. If it's revenue bonds, no, because that's business type activities. Capital leases, no, because they do not factor into debt margin calculations. Okay, did everybody get this? So the answer there would be 65 million, 635, 110 would be the debt margin. The debt limit was 108 million minus the 43 million. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody. Uh, okay. <laughs>